Are you ready to take your smartphone videography to the next level? Join me as we unbox the DJI Osmo Mobile SE. Let's start with the sealed box of the DJI Osmo Mobile SE. And from here, I'll just call it the SE. The packaging is sleek and minimalist with a high quality image of the gimbal on the front. Now, let's open it up. Inside the box, we have a magnetic phone clamp, a sturdy tripod, USB-C charging cable, the gimbal itself, and a quick start guide. Everything was neatly packaged and secured. Upon first glance, the design of the SE looks pretty great. It's definitely in the DJI signature style. And uh, holding the gimbal feels lightweight but robust. Immediately noticeable are the intuitive controls and the well placed buttons. We'll start by mounting the smartphone. Simply unfold the gimbal, extend the arm, place your phone in the holder, the magnetic holder snaps into place. Also included is the carrying bag for the SE. And little anti-slip pads for the phone holder. Next we'll turn on the gimbal. As is, it's got basic functions. The joystick allows you to pan and tilt smoothly. To get the most of the gimbal, you gotta download the DJI Mimo app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. It was not available in the Play Store on my end, so I'll go over downloading and installing the app. First, in your browser search for DJI Mimo app, make sure you click the link from the DJI website. Next, tap Download Android APK, and it should begin to download. Once done, select Install App on the pop-up. And there you go, it's installed and ready to start. With both the phone and the gimbal turned on, you should see it pop up under device connection.
Explore what different modes and settings work best for you. There's a step-by-step -step guide in the app when you first open it. Thanks for joining me on this unboxing, and I hope to share some more videos with you soon.